and welcome to Capstone IS Academy by Dr. Santosh Babu. Today we'll be discussing on the OPAC previous year's question. So the previous year's question of 2020 was how and why did the women question occupy the center stage of social reforms in India during the 19th century? Please understand this particular question has two parts. Part one, how the women question occupied the center stage of the social reforms in India and next why the women question occupied the center stage of social reforms in India. So let us address this question in two parts. The first part as to why. The why part number one is that key prevalence of the female infanticide. The number two of the number two point is that key women's were deprived of education especially women belonging to depressed class. You must remember about Jyotiba Phule and his wife who started the first school for the depressed class girls. The second third point being prevalence of child marriage, polygamy and the Purda system. When we are writing the Purda system, it means that the women not just of the Hindu religion but of other religion were also also faced certain kind of atrocities which led to the social reform movements for the women. Next, prevalence of sati. Last but not the least is the downtrodden condition of the widows, especially of the child widows. Uh, child, uh, girl child who were subjected to child marriages also faced the problems of the widowhood at a very earlier age and they were not able to remarry. Once we have addressed this five points of the why part, next we go on to the how part. In this how part, that is how did it took place see first of all it was the spread of the modern ideas modern ideas of the liberty equality this spreaded with the western education that was introduced in india number two was the rise of the intelligentsia when i say the rise of the intelligentsia means the people like raja ramon roy and ishwar chandra vidyasagar who fought for the rights of the women the third point being the legislation of the east india company it was due to this intelligentsia that the East India Company did realize that women of India and the atrocities that they were facing. Hence, it was William Bentick during whose era the Bengal Sati Regulation of 1829 was passed and this act made Sati illegal. Similarly, it was in 1856 that Lord Canning passed the Widow Remarriage Act. The next fourth point is formation of the social reforms organization. Social reforms organization like Brahmo Sobha, Brahmo Sobha belonging to Raja Ramon Roy and Young Bengal Movement started by Henry Vivan de Rosio. Now this reform, this social reform organization, they were very vocal and they supported women education, women right, women rights to property, etc. The last but not the least is the rise of the vernacular newspaper. Please remember that it was the vernacular newspaper that got that actually helped in spreading the idea of the women's reform. It actually gave an idea of the kind of atrocities that women all over India were subjected to. So with this five points in the why part and five points in the how part, we will be properly addressing the demand of the question. 10 points for a 10 marker question hence the examiner will not get a will not get any point where he can he or she can reduce your mark thank you that will be all for today